What's up guys, how's it going, and welcome back to, uh, I guess this is the first video, it's like a live gameplay commentary. I am playing Soldier right now in TF2, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd just talk a bit because uh, my Tuna Doom channel, I converted to, it to Chad Editor, and I just want to talk about that and other stuff, and I figured I'd just put like some gameplay in the back of it while I just talk. This is live, I'm playing Soldier right now, I'm kind of like rocket jumping, so yeah, I'm just playing this video game. Um, you know, a lot of people in the self-improvement niche tell you to not do it, but, like, who gives a fuck, right? It's, like, fucking late at night, just, like, chilling for, like, 30 minutes, an hour, just listening to, like, a nice podcast, audiobook, whatever, right? I've, d I've done all the work, I'm proud of myself for today, so I might as well just put on some video game for, like, a bit, right? Like, I, I got work that I gotta do tomorrow, but, you know, today I've done great. Anyway... Uh, I just want to talk a bit, talk a bit, so this channel, I'll probably do these, just because I still need a, an outlet just to talk a bit, and I, I figured I'd just do these videos with, like, some gameplay on the back, and hopefully you guys can watch it, so, let me see, so, oh, there we go, Sniper, I'm not gonna do, like, fucking shitty gameplay commentary, don't worry about that, we're not gonna be like, oh, guys, we're gonna capture the point, no, I'm just gonna talk about life and stuff, uh, so, do all that can be done each day. That was a phrase that Brandon Carter, uh, one of my mentors, has taught me, and, like, he says it, and I was thinking, man, and I'm gonna talk about why I quit fitness as well in this video. So, if you don't know, I was trying to lose fat to, you know, be a fitness influencer, teach me how to lose fat, make money with that kind of stuff, but I was thinking, do all that can be done each day, and I've been trying to lose fat for the last year or so, and, you know what, I kind of got close, but I never got ripped. So it, then my mind was like thinking, all right, maybe, maybe you don't have it, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I do have it, but my current conditions, because I, I moved back in with my parents and I was just stressing out because they're not like great parents and they just fucking ruined my mood and stuff. And one of my coping mechanisms is just eating and I'm so stressing. There's like my dad, like I have to buy water for my house because my dad is so broke. Like I'm fucking looking after the. I don't want to, like, ban on my family, but I'm looking after my dad and my family. My father is so broke, right? And here's the thing, like, I have not graduated university yet, and I have to look after my family, right? And I do this with video editing. But yeah, I've been thinking that, and I was like, you know what, maybe right now I'm just not in a time frame where I can get ripped. Like, fair enough, you know? Or I can just say to myself, okay, I'm not disciplined enough to fucking stay on a diet. Okay, fair enough. That's that's like an actual criticism. Yeah, I, you know what? That's true. I can't stay on a fucking diet right now to get ripped. I just don't have what it takes. So I've been thinking that. And I've, been, I've just been wrestling with it. I've been trying to get ripped and then yeah, do a bit progress. But then I get hungry. I eat back. And I was like, okay, well, I'll do all that can be done each day to work. And here's and I, I've been thinking, man. And here I realized I have a really marketable skill my video editing skills because i have been supporting myself over the last year or two with video editing like fully supporting i've been earning all my money from this and i'm literally like moving to thailand next month with video editing and i've been thinking i do all that can be done each day and i was like you know what i like money i, I want to make more money i want to help people and then this thing happens where i help this kid from pakistan make like 500 dollars in nine days and he thanks me for it i'm like wait I can teach people how to earn money with video editing, and I can earn money from that, I can make a living from it, and you know what, my whole life I've been supporting myself with video editing, so maybe I should, and people have been telling me, just do video editing, man, that's what you're good at, you're really good at this, that's how you earn money, and I was like, yeah, maybe I should, you know, maybe I should just give up on trying to be like a fitness influencer, because, like, first of all, what's this I mean, do I have the genetics for it I don't know right but I, I genuinely do not have the body to be a fitness influencer right now and like that's kind of embarrassing saying oh I'm, I'm a fat fuck I can't stand a diet uh, that's kind of embarrassing to say that's like admitting defeat but like I've been trying for like last fucking years I maybe just don't have what it takes right now and I'm 23 years old only I'm sure I'll get I'll get ripped and have a nice body eventually and you know what, maybe like other people are better at writing fitness programs and stuff, and I was thinking like maybe this ain't what it's meant to be, and fair enough, not everyone has to be a fucking ripped fitness influencer, and I was like, okay, video editing, I can earn money from this, 
And that's just what I've been thinking. And if I was to do all that could be done each day, I'll, I'll be just trying to monetize that skill of mine. Once I admit defeat, I was free to do. And with this job, like, I'm not showing you my naked body for likes or, you know, for you to pay me or for you to learn something from me. And it just made more sense. You know, now, like, I don't have to get ripped tomorrow. I can just take my time. I can be more relaxed. You know, I can eat the foods that I like. And that is also great. You know, like, that's great. And I'll, I'll just build muscle. I'll get stronger as well. I don't have to worry about that stuff. And, yeah, that's why I decided to be, okay, Chad Editor. Now, what is Chad Editor inspired by? Well, that was this, so last, a year or so ago, I found this, um, so Wall Street Playboys is, like, one of my favorite blog on the internet. Check out Wall Street Playboys. But, um, basically, um, I, I, I found out Chad Salesman, kind of, I think they're in the same Twitter space or X space. And Chad Salesman was is this guy's name, and he was selling like online courses on how to be a good salesman and stuff like that. And his name was Chad Salesman. He had a mascot, a guy with like bow tie. And you know, I was like, you know what, Chad Editor, Chad Editor. Yeah, that's that's fucking great. That's a great name. And I was like, you know, Virgin vs. Chad and Hamza also has like the Adonis fucking thing. So I could be like, hey, you can be a Chad editor, right? It's like the Wojak thing. And then I, I looked up on Squarespace domains and chadeditor.com was available. And I was like, you know what, Chad editor. And then I checked YT jobs and I added up all the videos that, um, that I've done. And it was like 100 million views. So what? So wait, 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 wait. I, I have over, I actually have 110 million views on the videos I've edited now, but 110 million views on the videos that I've done. And this is legit. And literally like two years ago, I was fucking sleeping in a tent, bruv. And now I'm moving to Thailand and I'm like, I'm earning money from fucking video editing. Why should I not share you, like share with you, like my gift? Maybe this is my gift. My gift is making content. It can be, you know, my gift isn't maybe fucking six-pack abs and amazing muscles. You know, I tried. I took a fair shot. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's fair enough as well, you know. I wasn't good enough. I wasn't, di I, like, I, I could say I didn't have good genetics, whatever. But, you know, maybe I, my environment was too stressed because of, like, Monty problems. Or, you know, my life was too stressed. Like, I, maybe that was my gift. So I was like, fair enough. Like, I, obviously I'm not fat, but not everyone was fucking meant to look like a Greek god, right, right after childhood. And there's some guys, like, in my gym, they're 16, but they look fucking amazing. And I just, I, I, I was fucking obese, bro. I was like 100 fucking 25, 20 kilos. But maybe my gift, I was thinking, was video editing. So I was like, okay, Chad, editor, that's what I could do. And that's basically why I've decided to... <laughs> that guy, that was a nice skill. He fucking put a nice, unusual grave. That guy's cool. I'm gonna add him on fucking Steam. But yeah, um... That's what I've been thinking. That's why I made Chad editor, and yeah, that that's it really. That's all I want to say. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll probably do more of these. Let me know what you think of the TF2 gameplay. I absolutely love TF2. I mean, like I don't fucking love it. I don't fucking, you know, I'm not making love to it at night. I don't love it like that. But you get what I mean. Like it's I I just can't be asked to buy like a fucking video game and learn it. I've just been playing this game for years. So, like, what else am I gonna do? Fucking buy the new, I don't know, fucking a Call of Duty or fucking, what, what, what the kids got, Bloodborne? Fuck that, I'll just, like, play this game, jump around, like, a casual game. Uh, I thought I'd put this in the background. Let me know what you think of TF2. And, um, yeah, that's it. I'll chat to you later, and see ya.